All right, welcome back to Adobe Animate CC. In the previous tutorial, we've been working on this animated zombie banner and um, this zombie outbreak warning, which is working out pretty well. Now, uh, it's working out okay, but what if I want to modify this? Well, there's some things I can adjust on the timeline here. For example, what if I want more frames? Can I do that? Well, yeah. I can come over here and anywhere in here, I'm thinking of probably going uh, twice as much maybe around uh, 150 or 160 I might adjust this so um, what I can do let's see here I'm gonna zoom in and then scrub over so this little guy here allows you to zoom in and out from the frames and this little guy allows me to slide across so what I want to do is actually double so I'm at frame 80, and I want to go to at least, uh, you know, that would be like, what, 160 or so? Right around here. And so if I click right above here, anywhere in here, or I can highlight these three frames, I can right click and choose, uh, where is it here? Insert keyframe. And so now the timeline is extended out to there. So let me zoom out again or sorry zoom back in and so now what I can do is I can grab these individual timelines um, I could grab all the frames there or I could just move the individual keyframes is which one I'm going to do so I'm going to drag this keyframe uh, down here to the end let me zoom out just a little bit here there we go and then I'm going to drag this one again well, it's a little tricky, but you have to click on the individual little point there, and then you can start sliding all the way over. So I'm going to drag it to the end there. And the background, by default, is just adding additional frames. So that's no problem. But I do want us to have a different starting point. So right now, it's actually starting at the first frame here. I actually want these two guys to start a little bit uh, later on. So what I'm going to do again is click on the individual frame here and drag it down to about actually about 80 or so. And I'm going to do the same thing with this way. Just drag it down about there. So each of those now will start a little bit later. So if I zoom out here a little bit and play it back, you'll see there's nothing happening and then all of a sudden that animation continues. So I actually want to have some additional animation here in the front. I'm going to bring in uh, three images, so I'm going to add a new layer for each one. And I'm going to rename these right now, so I'm just going to double click on them. I'm going to call this one uh, Z3, and then double click on this one, call it uh, Z4. Double click on this one and call it Z5. So these are for the zombies, zombie 3, zombie 4, zombie 5. I'm going to select this first one and choose the file import command import to stage and I have these uh, PNGs here so here you can see Z3 so I'm gonna go ahead and click open and it's gonna ask me since this is a sequence do I want to import all these images so I'm gonna say no because I want each one to be on its own layer so then I'm gonna turn off this layer click the next layer and choose that same option so go to file import import to stage choose Z4 click open it's gonna ask me that same warning I'm gonna choose no so I just want the one image. Turn off that one, select the last one, go file, import to stage, and choose the fifth one. I won't get that warning because that's the last one of the sequence. So as I turn them back on, you'll see all of them are overlapping one of each other. So I actually want to move these around. So I'm going to hold the shift key and um, I can move them. But what's happening here is I'm dragging all three and what I want to do is simply select uh, one layer at a time. So I'm going to drag this one over here, click on the next layer, maybe put the girl in the middle here, uh, and then have the uh, the guy in this on the left here a little bit, something like that. So now, right now, there's two different properties. I want them to change color, and then I want them to basically disappear. So I have to essentially create uh, two separate keyframes for all of these. And uh, it all has to happen before you know this animation here arrives. So on this keyframe here, I essentially want them to disappear. 
So what I'm going to do is right here, hold down um, my arrow key in all three of these frames here, right click and go down to uh, insert keyframe. So I have a keyframe there. That's when I want them to disappear. Now I want them to change color too at some point in here. So I'm thinking not quite halfway, but a little bit more. So I'm gonna I'm gonna test this out. I'm just gonna try a, a point and I might change the positioning of it. But I'm gonna select all three of these keyframes just simply by dragging down, right click and insert a keyframe. So I have these keyframes, but there's no animation happening yet. So what I want to do now is right click in each of these and go down to insert uh, create classic tween. So each of these I can do that. I can do one at a time or I can simply drag downwards and repeat, you know, create classic tween. Again, nothing is happening here. All we're doing is setting up the animation. We have to now change the states for each of these. I'm going to turn these two off so we do one at a time here. So it's not confusing. We know we have three keyframes and we have two timeline sections for animation. Again, the first one I want to change the coloring and the second one I want to change the alpha. So uh, what I have to do for each of these is actually uh, basically make these guys into symbols. And it's very strange because I, I forgot to do that first. Uh, so I'm going to have to, let's see, it's saying it's a graphic. Uh, so it actually did that automatically. That's interesting. I, I forgot that it would do that, but it did change it to a graphic. So uh, Adobe Animate is smart enough to realize, hey, you want to do some modifications to this object here. Um, and so what we're going to do here is we're going to actually convert it to a symbol for you. So I'm going to click on the first keyframe of this and it says here graphic. Now I can make it into a movie clip if I want to add additional options, but graphics fine. And in here under color effect, I want to add a, um, a tint basically. I want it to change color. So this color tint, I'm going to choose uh, this sort of weird sort of yellow here. Uh, and so as it moves along here, it's going to change the black because this previous keyframe was black, which is pretty cool. So uh, now what I want to change at this point is I want to change the alpha pr uh, property. So again, I have to select the individual keyframe here, uh, click on the object, and in here I'm going to change to alpha. And I want this to be 100%. And at the next keyframe, which is right here, make sure it's selected click on the object. Sometimes you have to remember to click on it. Go back to alpha and here I'll drop it to zero. So now you can see that fade happening and until you get something else to happen. So it's going to change color and then it's going to start to fade out which is kind of cool. So I'm going to do that with each of these. So I'm going to turn this one off, turn that one on and basically repeat the same process. So make sure I have the first keyframe selected. Click on the object in the properties here, switch to tint. It's automatically selecting that color I had before, which is great. I actually like that for all three. I could change the colors. It's already changing to black. But at the second keyframe, what do I want to do? I want to change, click on the, the graphic again. I want to change the alpha. So I want it to be 100% here. But at the end, I want it to be zero. So again, I'm click on that last keyframe, click on the graphic, change to alpha and then drop that to zero. So now we got it changing color and fading out. Pretty cool. Last one, let's turn that one on and repeat that same process. I'm gonna click on that first keyframe here, click on the graphic, I'm gonna change it to tint, and again it remembers the last color. That's gonna change it from that crazy color to the black. And then from here, I'm gonna change the alpha. So again, I'm gonna select it, Click in here, change to alpha, and then uh, I want it to be 100% at this point. And then move it along here, and at this point, I want it to be zero. So again, select the, the graphic, switch to alpha, drop that to zero. So now I've got, if I turn these all three on, it's going to look a little strange, but I have all three here where they all change color and they all fade, which is kind of interesting. 
So uh, that's basically where we're going to end it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll add some finessing and distribute these as sort of a warning symbol and sort of complete the, uh, or get close, possibly get close to completing the effect of the zombie outbreak warning banner. Uh, so see you soon. Until next time, Adobe Animate CC. Cheers.